welcome to Kitchen Basics 101, where I teach you the bare bone basics, as if you've never cooked a day in your life from the perspective of a mom. No, it's serious. I'm wearing my glasses today. So I had a thought. I have some extra Borson's cheese that's um, going to expire pretty soon. It's good for like another week or two, but I was like, I need to use it because I have three. So we always do it with tomato, but my thought was, why don't we do a roasted sweet potato pasta? Now I know we could just do it with the roasted sweet potatoes and we could put a little, you know, milk, cheese, whatever, which will be delicious and amazing. But I thought I'm going to throw in a pepper and some carrots, get all that good veg and vitamins in. And I'm going to put a Borson's cheese in there for that creaminess, maybe even more than one. So first we have to peel all the veg. I love these roasted veggie recipes because one, it's such a great way to get like tons of veggies in all at once because when you puree it up and you make it into a sauce, it's so delicious. And also because you can totally make them vegan, right? Like we're gonna put Borson's cheese in this, but you could easily put vegan cheese or you could exchange for um, like a nut milk or coconut milk any milk alternative. If you wanna get that Parmesan cheese flavor and you're vegan or vegetarian, you can use nutritional yeast in here as opposed to Parmesan cheese, which will give you that salty, umami, like bite that Parmesan cheese will give you. So I just love doing, I love roasted veggies in general. If you watch this channel, you'll see, I make a ton of roasted veggies, but when you roast veggies and turn them into pasta, then it's my two favorite things all in one thing. Because I love pasta. I mean, who doesn't love pasta? Some of this stuff chopped up. You don't have to have fancy knife skills to cook a meal. And you don't really have to do as much work as you think, right? Like, I could roast these carrots whole. I'm going to chunk them up into, like, big chunks just to help them cook faster. Um, but you could just lay them on their whole if you don't feel like chunking them up into chunks. Because we're going to blend all of this up when it gets soft. So I'm just gonna nip off the ends here of the sweet potato and the carrot. I use a rule when I'm cutting, which is half, half, half. So I'll just cut that in half. Then I'll cut this in half. And I'll cut this in half, right? And then you lay it on its flat side and you go half again, right? Half again, half, half, half. So now they got chunks, right? Half again, half. So if you're doing big chunks, if you're doing smaller chunks, just do the half method, but do more halves, right? Make smaller pieces by going half, 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 half. And that's sort of the rule of thumb that I use when I'm chopping veg to make it easy, right? Half down the middle, lay it on its flat side. Half long ways, lay it on its flat side. Half this way, half this way, big chunk, right? Good size chunk because we're roasting it up and then we're gonna blend it in the blender and we're gonna turn it into a delicious pasta sauce. I'm gonna add a red pepper. Um, a lot of people, you know, add a ton of seasonings. Um, paprika, that's just dry red pepper. So if you add the red pepper, you don't have to add the paprika, right? You could still if you want to. Um, you do whatever makes you happy. So I'm just gonna cut it into like, four. Could roast it even whole. Of course, we're going to roast some garlic, so we're just going to nip the top off. Now, a lot of people will wrap this in foil so that it doesn't burn. Me, I don't cook in foil, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put it right on the roasting pan like this with just its top nipped off. You could add onion to this. You could add anything you want to this. It doesn't matter, right? We've got a pretty good amount of sweet potato. We have carrot, red pepper. You can use coconut oil. You can use avocado oil. You can use whatever oil you want. I'm going to use olive oil, and you guys know, not sponsored, but I love them. I'm going to use graza because I love the squirt bottle and the olive oil. So... If you do not add oil, you do not get browning. So make sure that you everything gets a little oil. Make sure your garlic gets a little oil love, right? We're going to give it a good toss. Plus, this oil is going to become part of your sauce at the end. So be pretty generous with pepper and salt, always. Now, you could add to this smoked paprika. That would probably be amazing. Make sure we get a little pepper on our garlic. You could add to this, um, it just depends on the seasoning you want. If you want to go more Italian, you could do like rosemary, thyme, stuff like that, right? 
I'm gonna let these flavors speak for themselves. I'm gonna use the seasoning on my pasta is gonna be sweet potatoes, carrots, red peppers and garlic and salt and pepper because that's delicious, right? I don't need to add anything else. And the borson is that garlic and fine herb, so that's gonna also add tremendous flavor. Give everything a toss and make sure you rub your pepper down. Make sure it's got salt and pepper all over it because if there's no oil, then there's no crispy bits and we want crispy bits. Fire up our oven to 400 degrees and we're gonna put it in there for about 20 minutes and then I'm going to put the borson on here. So I'll show you after 20 minutes. This is after 20 minutes. You can see everything's looking roasty and toasty and delicious, but we're not 100% there yet, right? Let's see how soft. Yeah, not soft enough yet to blend up. I'm gonna make a little space here on my sheet pan for my borson. And we're just gonna pop it out and plop it on there so it can get warm and gooey and amazing. It's gotta have a little taste for yourself, right? <laughs> okay, back in the oven for another 10, 15 minutes. While we wait that 10 or 15 minutes, I'm gonna get some boiling water on and I'm gonna do some pasta. Do any pasta you want. I'm gonna do rigatoni today. Honestly, it smells so freaking good. I wanted to cook it like a little bit longer, but I can't, I'm starving. So we're gonna get it all into the blender. Sweet potatoes, carrots, the cheese, the peppers. You could totally have put onions, which would be a delightful, sweet thing if you love onions. Squeeze our garlic in. It's so hot though. I'm like gonna burn myself. I might have to let it cool for a second. Go give it a whiz in the blender. I think it'll be fine. If it ends up being a little bit too thick, I'll put a little pasta water. I did end up putting a little bit of pasta water into it, but it's still really thick. Okay, careful, it's hot. Mm. Oh my God, that is delicious. This would be a delicious soup. You could thin this with some heavy cream or some vegetable stock or some alternative milk, and this could be a delicious soup, like fantastic. But today, we're tossing it with pasta. I'm obviously too hungry to be trusted because I should have reserved some pasta water and I didn't, and I'm probably gonna need it. But we're gonna put this deliciousness into our pasta. Definitely need some pasta water, but I don't have any, so there it is. And I can't help it, we have to taste, okay? Look at this. Look, look at this. And you saw how much veg. There is a freaking whole pepper in here. There's, and you know what? If your kids don't like peppers, they'll never know there's pepper in there. They'll have no idea. Or garlic, or if you put an onion. Mmm. Creamy. So good. You know what it needs though? It needs a little dusting of Parmesan cheese because it needs a little salt. Hold please. I know you don't believe me when I tell you that I use this thing like every single day, but here we are again. Gotta get some Parmesan cheese. In a perfect world, I would thin it with some pasta water, but we're not in a perfect world. So we're just gonna put some cheese on it and we're gonna eat it thick and chunky. Look at that bite. Oh my God. Mm. Sweet, creamy. Oh my God, that is delicious. 